fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. The discovery of gold in the western United States brought wealth and prosperity to many of the early settlers. But greed for the precious metal led to violence and bloodshed. And it was in the hill country that the masked rider of the plains met his greatest opposition, the fight for law and order. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for Roaring Branch! In one corner of Blackie Sherman's general store at Roaring Branch, the Lone Ranger and Tonto stood at the counter. The proprietor was at the far side of the store, so busy talking that he had not noticed his customers, and... We came in here for supplies, Tonto. I have a hunch we're getting more than we bargained for. Hmm. I don't care for the owner. Do you? Look at him. Mm -hmm. Him look bad. The man he's talking to is no better. They haven't noticed us yet. That's right. In this case, I think eavesdropping will do no harm. We'll get a little closer, Tonto. I'm anxious to learn what they're talking about that makes them act so suspicious. Yeah, that a little boy. Are you certain for sure you know what you're talking about? Sure, the crack's been damned up, Blackie. I tell you, young Chad Wilkins is toting gold around town. Gold, I seen it. That good for nothing? Do I care if he's good for nothing? There ought to be some way we could find out about that gold, Blackie. You and hey. me. Anybody else seen it? No, nah, just me. When he get off his pony, his poke fell out of his pocket. I seen some of the gold spill out before he grabbed after it. I wonder if his folks are wise to him. No, sir. I'm betting he ain't told nobody, least of all his folks. He sure pulls the wool over their eyes. I'd like to get that gold, providing there is gold. Yeah. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> I was just thinking, that kid's the apple of his folks' eye. It'd make me feel good to use their own no-good maverick to cheat him, wouldn't it, huh? I ain't got no <laughs> use for him, if that's what you mean. Yeah, that some sing and go to meeting folks always make me mad. And the way they took that stretch of land and turned it into good property. Does it? That's what it was. Worthless sand. And they proved up on it, too. The best patch of grazing this side of the Rockies. They could have had that land. You didn't want it. How was that to know they could uh, dam up Roaring Branch Creek? Uh, anyone could have seen it. The valley narrows right down to a narrow canyon, sort of. All they had to do was dump stones and dirt and trees at the head of the narrow part, and the whole creek backed up. They can spread that water all over the valley, irrigation ditches and everything. Yeah, sure. It's easy to see now, but you didn't and I didn't. And the whole parcel of men here in town didn't. No. It took Lige Wilkins to do it. Dad read him. Yeah, and the way he's got his ranch house set right in that hollow where the creek bed used to be. Pretty. Yeah, and every time I see it, I get madder and madder. Yeah, but this ain't getting us no gold, Blackie. Now, what we gotta do is... What you staring at? Well, reach for our apple and it rocks right in your fist. 
Here he comes now. Huh? Chad Wilkins is coming to your store. Is there a chance to learn about that gold, huh? None better, Blackie. Yeah, but how are we going to do it? You leave that to me. Just follow my lead. Sure. Here he comes. I come in to buy some stuff, Sherman. You come to the right place, bub. They got victuals, weapons, clothes for man and horse. Shelter for them as can pay for it. Throw that in your saddlebag, will you? Ain't it bad enough my ma makes a grown man do a shopping for her without you? Hey, let go of there. There it is. That's my poke. You took it out of my pocket. Keep your hands off. I thought I'd seen you with a poke of dust this morning. That's mine. Yeah? You recollect, Blackie, what I was just saying to you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. I lost a poke of dust last night, Chad. And this is it. You're playing the wrong brand, Bull. It's mine. I even recognize the dust. It's the very same I got over behind the mountain. It ain't neither. That come from the creek on Paul's land below the dam. It belongs... To... Oh. It belongs to the dam, huh? Never mind. That's my dust. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now that I look at it, this ain't my poke anyhow. My, mine was made of buffalo hide and this one's antelope. Give me that. Sure, son, sure. <laughs> no odd feelings. I reckon your old man feels pretty good discovering gold, eh? That's none of your business. I... I'll be back later for that stuff, Blackie. <laughs> you sure done a bull slick as a cold skin. Yeah, now we know where the gold is, maybe we can do something about it, eh? His old man don't know neither. Did you see the way the kid covered up? This is getting right interesting, Blackie. You and me shouldn't have no trouble about it. We done stuff like this often enough before. I reckon you ought to close up shop, Blackie. We might take a pass here up around that canyon just below the dam. Gold. Yes, sir, we... What in tarnation? Who's it? Come out of there, stranger. I see you on that engine. We came in to buy some supplies, Blackie. You were skulking behind that pile of buffalo skins. I seen you. You're masked. I am. Stranger, if you heard what was being said up here at the counter... Well, you could... should be the best judge of that. Well, I'm warning you. Whether you did hear or not, remember this, masked man. We don't want no strangers sticking their nose in what ain't their business. Just what were you talking about? What were we... Get. Get out of here. I don't give a hang whether you're an outlaw or whatever you wear that mask for. There's the door. Take your engine part and get out. There, Moose, before you're took in for trespasses. That suits me. Come along, Tato. Ah, we go. <laughs> I sure told that hombre off. Trying to get himself near, fool. What he'd get'll be the end of a rope around his neck. Blackie. Yeah. That there was a Lone Ranger. The Lone yeah. Ranger. If he heard what we was talking about. He didn't hear. Besides, you're loco. That went the Lone Ranger. I tell you, Blackie. Get him up, Strong. Turn him Listen. I told you. Did you hear that? It was the Lone Ranger. Yeah. Well, maybe so. Maybe you're right. But he didn't hear nothing. And Lone Ranger, no Lone Ranger. There ain't nobody going to stop me from getting that gold dust. We're going out there now. Where are we going, Kimasabi? I want to take a look at that gold field, the creek below the dam. If we hurry, we can look it over and perhaps talk to Wilkins himself before Blackie and Blue get very far. That's true. Scout and Silver, plenty fast, so we can go faster... Get up, Silver! Stretch those legs, old boy! Get him up, Scout! Get him up! Bull! Hey, Bull! Come around in. You got something? Come here. Let me see. Here, take a look at the pan. Yes, sir. That dust shows I'm a foot high. Plenty heavy, too. Most of an inch of it settled in the bottom of the pan. I wonder where the mother load is. Mother load nothing. This here dust is good enough even washed down. We ain't spending all our time trying to find any outcrop in a rock that's been took off it. Just run your fingers through this here. What the... Hey, what's this? Something in the gold? Yeah, heavy too. It didn't get sifted out with the other stuff. Well, what is it? We'd left uh, fish around here for... Yeah, maybe it's a nugget. Maybe it's one of those... Got it, it... Bull. Huh? Bull, look at this here. It's a silver bullet. A silver bullet. I looked around at the ground at the head of the canyon, Mr. Wilkins. I scattered some silver bullets there as a warning, just in case Blackie and Bull decided to do some illegal prospecting. Ma, you hear what this masked man's got to say? I hear him, Pa. I don't know how much store you set by your son, Chad, Mrs. Wilkins, 
But I'd Now, like... you stop right there, mister. Chad's my boy, and there ain't nobody can run him down. Oh, I'm sorry if I've hurt your feelings, Mrs. Wilkins. Never mind that. We, well, we're beholden to you for telling us about the gold and all. But when you insinuate that Chad might be, that he might be fooling his folks, well, thank you kindly, but be on your way. I reckon Moore's got the bit in her teeth, mister. If an I was well, you... Well, that's all right, be... Wilkins. I understand. I may see you again. Here, Silver. I'm sorry, Mrs. Wilkins. I know how hard you want to be proud of your boy. <laughs> Perhaps he won't disappoint you after all. Lige. Lige. How do you know it was just my pride that kept me from admitting we got a worthless, no good boy for a son? How do you know? Now, Ma, like he says, Chad, maybe he'll pull out of it. There's very few colts don't kick over the traces a while before they grow no, up. No, Lige, no. I ain't never said it before, not even to you. I ain't even admitted it to myself. But now, Chad's no good. Plum no good. Now, Ma, don't you go crying. It won't help matters none. And besides, didn't that masked man say something about black and bull trespassing our land? Get my Winchester. I've got business to do. Dust. Gold is worth a plenty. If I don't get Lige Wilkins off this land, why they... Ah! Fuck you. That shot went right through the pan. I heard you talking, you know, good rattlesnake. Wilkins. Steady. Don't go reaching for no weapons. Two against one, Wilkins. Not while I'm behind you, Dink. Uh, got us surrounded, eh, Wilkins? Well, we was just looking around, kind of. Yeah, so I see. Hey, uh, I was wondering if you might be willing to sell your land, Wilkins... We, uh, we'd give you a right fair price for it. Is that so? Sugar wouldn't melt in your mouth, would it, Blackie Sherman? I suppose you think Chad didn't tell us about the being gold up here. Huh? Oh. Told you, huh? Maybe he did and maybe he didn't. Let me see that. Hmm. Just like I figured. Is it fool's gold, Paul? No, no, it ain't fool's gold. Just placer gold. Why, if you was to work on this day in and day out, it wouldn't bring in more than the land brings me now, which ain't much anyhow. So you'd be wasting your time. Get before I put a rifle bullet where it'll do the most good. Get! thing, too. Otherwise, Wilkins might spot us coming back here. Yeah, you can see the light from his house down there, Blackie. You think he was right about this here gold? Yeah, there's plenty of gold. Plenty. He just didn't want us to get it. Most likely he's going to work it himself and get rich. Well, if there was any way to... But I found him maybe there is a way. Huh? Suppose Wilkins was to die. Wilkins and his wife and his kid, the whole shebang... We could uh, get this land. Hey, you ain't thinking of murder. I'm thinking of plenty of things. But it would be uh, what you could call murder. Not exactly. You see where that house sits, Bull? Sure, right spang in the valley. Yeah. The one simple purpose at the head of the canyon. Where? Well, the dam Wilkins built. Yeah, the dam. Suppose that dam was to go out. Huh? If that dam was to go out, the water would be a raging flood. If you sweep down the valley, they'd be killed, drowned in the beds, all of them. And we could get that gold all for ourselves. What do you say, Bull? Yeah, Blackie. Yeah. It wouldn't be murder, would it? Sure not. It would be an accident. Just an accident. And you know something, Bull? I got a feeling it's going to happen real soon. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. In the Wilkins cabin that night, Lige and his wife watched Chad, hoping the boy would take them into his confidence. But not a word was spoken until finally Mrs. Wilkins lost her patience and... Chad Wilkins, a body can stand just so much even from a son. Stop staring down at your boot tops and act like a decent man. Oh, let me alone. You knew there was gold there, didn't you? What if I did? And you didn't tell us. Us that brung you up. Brung me up. What kind of home is this? It ain't fit for even a skunk. It ain't no governor's mansion, but someday... Someday, it's be... someday. I'm sick of hearing that someday stuff. I've been hearing it since I was old enough to talk. Slaving and working and sweating. There must be easier ways to get money, and I'm looking for them. There's honest ways, son. We learned you plenty about them. Honest. <laughs> What's the difference so long as you get it? By gravy, I've heard enough. You're a worthless tumbleweed tramp. Right. No, Martha. We've been fooling ourselves long enough. There ain't no good in him. Just a worthless desert bum. I used to think maybe your ma's tenderness and kindness would bring out some good in you. Like pan in the river, bring up gold. But, ah, there ain't no use talking. You've aggravated your ma for the last time. I won't get no place here anyhow. You ain't a-gonna get no place. I'm a-going into town. There's Blackie and Bull and them fellas. They got the right idea. Blackie and Bull. They wouldn't know honest thought if they was to trip over one. I'm giving you a horse. You can take him. Now get out. Get out before I forget you, my born son, and do something I'll be sorry for. Get out. Marthy. Ma, he's... You've done right, Lige. There wasn't nothing else to do. You've done right. I just wonder where he's going, that's all. <laughs> We'll have that gold right in our sombrero. We'll blow that damned kingdom come higher than... Blackie. Kid. What are you talking about, Blackie? What are you doing here? What damn are you going to blow the kingdom come, huh? I left home and I want to go in with you. What damn are you going to blow... Hey, shit, what are you doing here? I'm sick of living with my folks. They don't understand nothing about... Huh. I see you got blasting powder already. Say, I... I'd sure like to go along with you and... I... Well... What are you staring at? Uh, that powder. Blowing up a dam. No. No what? No, no, you can't be meaning to... There ain't but one dam in the county. Paws Dam. You're fixing to blow up Paws Dam. What do you care? You left home, didn't you? You can't do it, Blackie. It's murder. More on Paws. That's it. You figured on getting us out of the way so you could get the gold. Why, you dirty sidewinder? You... Blackie Sherman's store? That's right. Sherman, Bull, him come out. Cat Wilkin, him not come out. He's still in there? Maybe him not come out. Come on, Silver! Get him up, Scout! I don't like this, Kimasabi. We're going to see what's keeping that boy in there. If Blackie and Bull have left. Ah, we go after them, but you said... Yes, I know. I said you would have watched the boy, not those men. And here we are, Kimosabe. Off your horse. Yeah. And the door's locked. Knock it in. Ah, uh, me... Door, him open. Tonto. Ah, uh, me see. I'm tied up. All right, son. Take it easy. We'll have you out of here in just a moment. Cut those ropes, Tonto. Ah, uh, me do it. I'll work this gag loose. There. <laughs> Mister... Mister, you got to warn Pa. Where are Blackie and Bull going? Get them ropes off. Get me untied. They're going to the dam. They're going to blast it wide open. What? Them bad. Let me loose. That water will drown Ma and Pa. They'll be drowned in their sleep. They won't have a rope, chance. Rope cut now. We got to stop Blackie and Bull. We got to we'll hurry. we do all we can, Chad. Tell the horses. Yes, Scout. That's all my doing. If I hadn't got that gold, Ma and Pa wouldn't be in danger. It's danged. too late for talk, Chad. Yep. Go on your horse. Hurry. Here, boy. Come here, boy. Come on, Scout. Come on, Scout. Come on, boy. Come on. Hell, silver, away. Tonto, Chad, pull up. No, we got to ride. Pull up. Oh, oh, fella. Oh. What are we stopping for? We ain't got much time. They'll set off the powder. I've changed our plans, Chad. They had a long head start. Perhaps that blast will go off before we get to the head of the canyon. Uh, them gone a long time. A trail forks here. To the right, the dam. To the left, the trail to your home, Chad. Which do you want to take? Okay. 
You mean... That blast goes off, anyone riding to the cabin will be right in the path of the water. The rider won't stand a chance. I don't care. It's a chance I gotta take. I gotta try him on more and Paul. Hey, you go after Bull and Blackie. I'll ride for the cabin. Wait, Chad, stop. Stop, I tell you. You proved yourself, Chad. I wanted to learn just how much your parents really meant to you. Leave go of my reins. I got No, it. Chad. Your horse isn't fast enough. Silver, cover the ground faster. Now head for the cabin. Tonto. Uh huh? You and Chad ride for the dam. Try to stop Blackie and Bull. It's the safest way. That blast. It's the dam. They set it off. It's the dam. All right, Tonto. You and Chad, get going. I'm riding for the cabin. Get him on, Hurry, man. Hurry. You heard that, boy, Silver. Run, old fellow. Run, Silver, as you never did before. Come on, Silver. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that water bowl. Yeah, we sure put a hole in the damn blackie. It's good fresh in the spring freshet. Yeah, this is good roll. Sweeping everything before. Fifteen feet of solid water. Tons and tons of weight racing down the valley. <laughs> sure going to hit Wilkins' cabin with awful smack. <laughs> Ready to turn in? No. Just sitting there rocking, thinking about Chad. I reckon I can't help it, Lodge. He's the only child we got. Ma, you remember that time Chad got caught in the thunderstorm? It is way I back when... I remember it. Chad was five years old. Yeah. <laughs> that sound we heard a couple minutes ago put me in mind of it. Sounded like thunder, didn't it? Yeah. That's what brought it to my mind, too. Funny, there was no sign of rain at sundown. Remember how worried we was about Chad that time? Him getting lost in the storm? Might not drown. Yeah. That is when he fell in the stony creek. I gotta get him back tomorrow, Lodge. Yeah, Ma. Even he'll come back. It's a funny thing, Ma, about that thunder, kinda. You keep hearing it? No. No, but it seems like I hear something. Something way off. Kinda rush and growl and sound, Lodge. Taint like thunder. Ma. Ma, that noise. That rushing sound. That's water, Ma. Water? It's a sound I heard before, and I don't never forget it. That wasn't no thunder. That was a dam going on. Lige, the valley. It'll come right down the valley. A wall of water 15 feet high. Hurry, Ma. Wilson! Wilson! Paul, get the horse! Wilson, get your horse! There's a flood coming down the valley! Get your horse! It's a masked man. I ain't got but one horse. Get him! Riding yourself! Silver can carry double. Come on, Mrs. Wilkins. Up in front of me. Hurry, the water's coming fast. Don't wait for me. Get more. Where should be safe, mister? None of us will be safe unless we hurry. Up the slope. Climb your horse. Up, Silver. Get up, old fellow. You'll never make it carry him double. He's got to make it. Come on, boy. Come on. <laughs> Come more out, mister. Can't climb much more. Stop. All right, we'll get rain up. You sure this is high enough? That water's boiling along. Well, this is high enough. Look, the wall of water's hitting your cabin. Glory to God. She went down like kindling. Mister, we sure want to thank you. That horse of yours is a wonder the way he carried a double load. Me and Martha could never have made it. We'd be rolling and twisting in that water right now if it hadn't have been for you and that horse. Hear yeah, that, Silver? You did a good job. <laughs> Looks like me and Martha right back where we started from. No home, nothing. Yes, Paul. Only this time we're too old to start over again. Too old. Perhaps you won't have to start over again, Mrs. Wilkins. Uh, what are you saying, mister? You mean... When we rest the horses, suppose we ride up toward where the valley narrows down into the canyon. It should be daylight when we get there. Perhaps you won't have to start over again. Well, we reached the canyon, mister. It's not quite dawn yet. I don't want dawn to come. Never. Wouldn't show us nothing but mud and dirt and ruined land. Now, there ain't nothing. There's a rider coming this way, Mrs. Wilkins. Yeah, a rider. 
Can't make out who it is. Too dark to tell Lige, yet. Lige, Lige. I got a feeling. I got a feeling it's someone we've been hoping to see. Oh! Marcy, did you hear that? Lige. Lige, it's our son. It's Chad. You can dismount now, Mr. Wilkins. It's Chad. 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 Oh. Boys, that's you. Are you all right? Chad. Oh. Son, we found you. You come back. Oh, gosh, boy. Gosh, it's so good to see you both. The mask man saved our lives, son. What are you doing up here? Oh, Paul, Blackie and Bull put part into the dam. They wanted to kill you to get the gold, but well, I learned about it. The masked man had the fastest horse, so he went after you. Blackie and Bull. The sheriff's got him now, Paul. The engine took him to town. But, well, I I had to see. I, I had to find out how you were. Oh, you both got to forgive me. I, I've been an awful fool, but last night when I thought you was going to die, I... I knew I couldn't ever live apart from you both. Not ever. Chad. My son, that's all we've been aching to hear. It don't matter that we ain't got no home to go to, nothing to live on or to eat. As long as we got you. That's all that matters. But... Uh, <laughs> oh, gosh, I, I was so excited seeing you, I plumb forgot about the gold. We ain't poor, Ma. We're rich. Gold? What gold? Plenty of gold, Pa. A whole solid vein of it. What on earth are you talking about? It's true, Mo. It's right up the canyon. A vein of solid gold? Chad, it weren't there no, before. Oh, sure it weren't, Pa. But it's there now. When the dam broke, the water came down so hard it plumb scraped it clean. You can see it sparkling and glittering just as soon as the sun comes up. And, Pa. Yes, son. You know what the engine said? The masked man's partner, Chad? He. He said the masked man found out about that gold afore. Gosh, you know, it It almost seems like the masked man might have figured everything out just so things had happened this way. just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.